Welcome back, guys. This is Leland bringing you another TA of the GRT. Hit that thumbs up button for me, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification because you want to know what's going on in GRT. I really appreciate it. Guys, check out this trend line that I found. Just a little bit of work that I've been doing on the side here. We are. I am expecting a little bit more dumpage for GRT. And it is possible that it could not happen. But I just want to go ahead and show you this trend line back here. You see how we couldn't stay above this trend line and then we got this massive candle to the downside? Ever since then, this trend line has been acting as resistance. Resistance. And it came up here for a little bit and it just could not hold. And it has been resistance ever since. An area that we are looking to get above is 83 cents. I keep hearing all these people talking about getting above 80 cents. If we can get above and hold 80 cents, I, I, I just don't think that's an accurate um, price target that we need to get above for GRT, at least on the short term. Um, we, we need to get above this trend line right here. Get above this trend line, confirm it, and blast off. Then we already know we're going to a dollar after that. It'll be looking really good after that. I also want to just give you guys some sentiment right now. Bitcoin broke out. The show's going to be on Bitcoin, guys. It's going to be on Bitcoin for a little while. We do have a breakout target of about fifty-five to fifty-six thousand dollars for Bitcoin over the next few weeks, maybe a month, maybe sooner. But it's going to happen. Same thing over on Ethereum. Ethereum had its breakout out of its out of its triangle, something like that, right? It broke out. We could have a retest for ETH before having a resumption off. All eyes are on these big assets right now, guys. We do have a Bitcoin conference going on with Michael Saylor today. Michael Strategy is holding a conference for Bitcoin that may take the attention away from GRT and other altcoins for a while. Don't be surprised if you start seeing Bitcoin and ETH start pumping even more and people start switching their money and watch or eat a GRT go down. I still think we could see some further downside that is possible. That always that always happens. You know, the attention goes on to Bitcoin or Ethereum, and then alts suffer. They do suffer. We st we still are in alt season right now. Bitcoin is below. What is that? About sixty five percent of the total market cap supply, and uh, we are continuing to go down. Alt season is here. All coins should be going up, but Bitcoin is still going to be moving up along with Ethereum. Let's go back to GRT. Let's check out some indicators. Let's look at our MACD. It looks like on the MACD, we might be rounding out. It's possible that we could be rounding out and could be getting across before having a little bit more move to the upside. That move to the upside, though, could hit that resistance followed by a fail and then creating another red on the oscillators the um the red also the islands that we have going on down here they are about it's a little bit i would say it's a little bit of convergence you know nothing nothing serious happening but we are in a slight downward movement which tells me that we might be we could see a little bit more movement to the downside let's go ahead and check out the relative strength index you guys already know we are looking for this line down here support the 48 we want to stay above that for grt if we want to see con continuation to the upside if not and we break below it it has been a while it has been a while since we've come down and touched that 30 that was all the way back here january 11th and when i say a while I mean, GRT is not that, you know, it hasn't been alive for that long. We're talking about month, two months, maybe at the most, um, month and a half. But uh, we are due for a correction. So don't be surprised if we do come down and start hitting these 60 cent levels or maybe even possibly coming down and hitting 66. I mean, we talked about this in the last video, and I really would not be surprised if we came down and hit that 40 level down here that's that's been a big level of support in the past over here 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 great level of support that'd be that would be an awesome buying opportunity for grt huge buying opportunity for grt 
in the short term if, and only if, we go down and see some further downside. But like I said, you know what? Can you guys hit that like button, please? Hit that subscribe, hit that bell. I need to make sure I say that more in my videos. My videos just don't get the amount of likes that I that I feel like they should be getting. That's okay. I'm not here for the likes. I'm just here for you guys. I'm here to give you positive vibes, tell you about what's going on in GRT, and to set you up for success, really. That's kind of my goal, just providing the data. Not financial advice. You guys already know that. I'm not here to get financial advice. We could continue to see a round off here and then we come up here to about 85 cents. That is very possible. Maybe a little bit lower to 83 cents before we have a breakout. Um, my opinion, though, my opinion on this, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not too confident in GRT right now on the short term. I do think we are going to have a pullback, guys. Like I said, you do want to be looking out 66 60 cent, even 40 cent over here. Worst case scenario. Not really sure if that's going to happen. I just want to be skeptical. I want to make sure that we're making the right trades and all is going well. Just wanted to give you guys a short video. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, guys. I really appreciate you for coming by. I'll catch you guys in the next one.